Hello my all viewers hope you are doing well and welcome to my youtube family this is amit and you are watching the architect strength youtube channel here you can get all kind of engineering related information today we are going to discuss about flooring likes different types of flooring and how to construct the flooring and what are the properties of flooring so without wasting any time let's get started what is mud flooring mud floor are commonly constructed in villages they are cheap hard fairly impervious easy in construction and maintenance the method of its construction is very simple upon the prepared bed a 25 cm thick layer of selected moist earth is evenly spread out and is rammed well so as to get a consolidated thickness of about 15 cm what is brick flooring this type of flooring is commonly provided in warehouses stores and go down or in places where heavy article are stored the flooring may be done with brick laid flat or on edge arranged in herring bone fashion or set at right angle to the walls what is flag stone flooring any laminated sand stone available in uniform thickness is called flag stone the stone slab for flooring may be square or rectangular with width not less than 38 cm and thickness varying from 20 to 40 mm a slope of 1 to 40 is necessary to be given in flag stone flooring for proper drainage what is cement flooring this type of flooring is commonly used both in residential as well as public buildings it is non absorbent and thus it is very useful for water stores it is durable and commonly used in kitchens bathroom school hospitals drawing room etc it possesses good wearing properties and can be easily maintained clean what is granolithic flooring it is a finishing coat provided over the concrete surface to form a hard resistance to abrasion and durable flooring granolithic concrete is composed of cement sand and specially selected aggregates the concrete mix is usually of 1:1:2 or 1:1:3 the granolithic concrete should be laid before the base concrete has set the minimum thickness of finishing should be 13 mm what is terrazzo flooring on account of its decorative and good wearing properties this type of flooring is becoming very popular these days and is being commonly provided in offices schools hospitals residential buildings bank etc terrazzo is a concrete surface with special aggregate of marble chips mixed with white and colored cement in proportion of 3 to 1 the thickness of this flooring should not be less than 40 mm what is mosaic flooring over the hard base concrete bed a 5 cm to 6 cm thick layer of lime surki mortar is spread in a small area the area taken is such that the flooring can be easily completed in that portion without the mortar getting dry the polished surface is finally allowed to dry for some weeks before use what is marble flooring Marble flooring is commonly provided in places of worship and in public buildings. The size of marble slabs to be used in flooring 
depends upon the pattern to be adopted. The slabs for normal works are square or rectangular in shape and their thickness varies from 20 mm to 40 mm. What is timber flooring? In hilly areas where the climate is damp and wood is easily available, wooden floors proves economical and as such are commonly used. Its use is not extensive in other places. However, they are used for dancing halls, carpentry halls, auditorium, etc. In this type of floor, prevention of dampness is of great importance and hence every precaution is taken to check the dampness from rising above. What is asphalt flooring? On account of its being dustless, elastic, durable, waterproof, acid proof and attractive in appearance, mastic asphalt flooring is becoming very popular these days. This type of flooring is non-slippery and noiseless too. As such, it is recommended for use in factories, in loading platform, swimming pools and terrace floor, etc. What is rubber flooring? This type of flooring is not common in India but in foreign countries. It is used in residential buildings as well as public buildings like offices, hospitals, school, etc. It is noiseless, comfortable, clean and durable. This type of flooring is manufactured in the form of seats or tiles in a variety of color. Its, its thickness seldom exit 10 mm what is linoleum flooring linoleum flooring is a covering laid over wooden or concrete floors in order to hide the defect of flooring or to enhance its appearance it is a material manufacture by mixing oxidized linseed oil with powdered cork put floor various type of germs and suitable coloring pigments. It is available in a variety of colors both in plain and printed forms. What is acid proof flooring? In places like chemical laboratories and plants, storage battery building, etc. where acids are used or manufactured. It is necessary that the floor topping should be acid proof. The asphalt blocks are first laid on the hard base and then acid proof asphalt is uniformly spread over the surface of the block. Hope you have enjoyed the video. If so, then do a like and let me know your feedback by comment. Thanks for the watching. See you in next video. Till then, bye bye.